In this video, we are going to look at how to take a quadratic function that's in general form and put it in vertex form. So in this particular video, we're going to look at doing that by using the vertex formula. Now, you can also do this by completing the square, but I'm going to show you how to do it by using the vertex formula. So the first thing we need to know is what is the vertex formula? The vertex formula is h equal to negative b over 2a and k is equal to f of that, meaning you plug whatever you get for h into the original function. Now, where does this come from? Do y'all remember the quadratic formula? x equal negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Well, if we was to take out the plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, we're left with the negative b over 2a, and that part is where the vertex formula comes from. And so we're going to look at a particular example on how to take a function that's in general form and put it in vertex form. So let's check it out. For this example, we want to write the function f of x equal 3x squared plus 12x plus 5 in vertex form. So this function is a quadratic function because the highest exponent is 2 and it's in general form and we want to actually put it in vertex form. So again, we're going to do this by using the vertex formula and finding the vertex first. The vertex formula says that h is equal to negative b over 2a. In this case, our b is 12. Remember, this is ax squared plus bx plus c. Our b is 12 and our a is 3. And so we get negative 12 over 6, which is equal to negative 2. And recall from the previous video, if you watched it, that h is the x value of the vertex and k is the y value of the vertex. And so now if I want to find k, I'll take what I got for h and plug it in to the original function. So my original function is 3x squared, so I'll do 3 times negative 2 squared plus 12 times negative 2 plus 5. So negative 2 squared, so we have to do order of operations, so we'll do our exponents first. So negative 2 squared is 4, and then... So then you will multiply, so you'll get 12 here, negative 24 here, because 12 times negative 2 is negative 24, and then just uh, simplify going from left to right, 12 minus 24 is negative 12, plus 5 is negative 7. So your vertex is the point negative 2, negative 7. So now if you want to take this function and write it in vertex form, so recall that your vertex form is f of x equal a times x minus h squared plus k. Well, your a is 3, your h is negative 2. So remember inside the parentheses, it's going to be the opposite sign, and your k is negative 7. And so your vertex form will be f of x equal to 3 times x plus 2 squared minus 7.